Montreal, a dominant performance again from start to finish to earn a win in regulation. And so PWHL Montreal will play in the postseason. A 5-2 win in front of their crowd here at Verdun Auditorium to clinch their playoff spot. The crowd was with them the whole way. And how about that for the final regular season game here? The playoffs are right around the corner. Well, you see the celebration too, but the fans and the players knowing exactly what they've accomplished. And, you know, this is only a four-team playoff. So all you need to do is get in to have an opportunity to win it all. Of course, for Montreal now, it's looking to push for that first place spot so they can pick their first round opponent, can pick the third or the fourth place team. It's not an easy decision, but I did hear Danielle Sauvageau say that they all have it well thought out. They'll look at all the analytics. It's not a decision that will be based at all on emotion. So there's still that fight for first for Montreal and the fight for Philly. The fight for Philly begins. The fight for Philly begins. <laughs> The New York, who's now got to continue to try to win their last three games and accumulate those points. Their final regular season, three games for New York. Their points will start to go towards earning that first overall draft pick. The draft order will be based on the number of points teams earn after being eliminated from the playoffs. That is how they will determine the order. But for Montreal, the postseason is in their future. Well, now, you know, it leaves that opportunity to the coaches, too, to decide, you know, we want to and Sophie Pate, a little crutch clap as she's had to watch these last few games from the bench. And a player that came up clutch in their first ever game in Ottawa. The OT winner back on January 2nd. As you see, Poulin taking the time. And if you're a general manager, Daniel Sobato, head coach, Corey Chevry, the entire coaching staff. Playoff hockey is around the corner. Well, once again, you celebrate this moment, you push for first place, but it gives Coach Corey Chevry the opportunity then to maybe rest some of these players, Laura Stacy and Poulin and O'Neill and some of these players, Debian, who have had a lot of miles on their legs with World Championships, the rivalry series, the league, to get themselves in the optimal position to start playoffs. New York still with meaning behind these games because of the goal plan structure here in the PWHL. They'll want the three points just as much as any other team to earn that first overall pick in the upcoming draft. As Montreal celebrates here tonight. A regulation win and they're off to the playoffs. Tied for first now alongside Minnesota. Not a great way to celebrate in front of their fans at Verdun their last home game of the regular season. Take the time to salute these fans here on the ice. For the final time here in regular season play at Redon Auditorium. One more dance here. <laughs> more to come inside Redon Auditorium when we come back. A dominant performance for Montreal. They are off to the playoffs. They have clinched their seed with a 5-2 win against New York. Stay with us. O'Neill is going to be our player of the game with a goal and an assist, getting this power play going in such a huge part of this team's success. Kristen O'Neill, player of the game, brought to you by Canadian Tire. So with the regulation win here tonight by Montreal, shaking up the standings as they continue to be a dominant team here, fighting for first. They have now tied Toronto here with 38 points on the season. So Montreal sitting second in Boston in that fifth spot. They're going to a shootout against Ottawa right now. New York has officially been eliminated from playoff contention. And so it will start to earn their draft order points in their final three games to fight for Philly with that first overall pick. We'll send it now ice level as general manager Daniel Sauvageau has a few words 
for the Montreal fan base. Montreal, au nom de l'organisation du groupe Walters, Billy Jean King Enterprise, du groupe de business leadé par Marie-Christine Boucher, on vous dit merci de votre présence. On vous a choisi, vous nous avez choisi, salle comble à tous les soirs. Merci d'être là. On va revenir. Merci. Oh boy. Merci tout le monde. Très bon. Oh, très bon, that's me. En savoir pour la series. Mer Merci pour aujourd'hui et toutes les saisons. Merci beaucoup. Tu fini. You gotta give it to that coach Corey Shepherd. Bringing this crowd to life, but let's send it now to the captain, Marie Philippe Poulet. Ce qu'on vit ici à Montréal, c'est magique. Uh, au tout au long de l'équipe, on behalf of the team, we cannot thank you guys enough for coming day in and day out to support us. Everybody's welcome in this family, in this ring, and we want to say thank you. Merci beaucoup pour être ici. À chaque soir, d'être là derrière nous, c'est magique. Pour nous, ça nous donne l'énergie. On veut vous remercier, puis on vous remerciera jamais assez. Thank you. Merci. On vous aime. Merci beaucoup. The city loves their hockey, loves their captain, and loves this team, a special group, PWHL Montreal. The final salute here inside Verdun Auditorium to close out the regular season on home ice. They still have two more games to go, both on the road. They still have to face Ottawa and Boston. And then it is the journey for the Walter Cup. It'll all begin just after May as they salute the crowd here on home ice. And that'll do it for us here tonight inside Verdun Auditorium. Started out strong. Montreal.